Yeah, DHS is often the focus of meetings and conversations here at the state capitol. Some lawmakers I spoke with were saddened and surprised by the announcement, meanwhile others have been calling for change for mm -hmm. some time. This is a letter DHS Director Dr. Deb Shropshire sent to Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt, dated August 20th. Shropshire not giving a reason for her departure, but writing that having the opportunity to lead Oklahoma Human Services over the last couple of years has been a great pleasure. Shropshire had only been on the job for about a year and a half. She was appointed in January of 2023. I am surprised that uh, she's resigning. Lawmakers, even a Senate committee that oversees the department, were split on Shropshire's leadership. Senator George Young, a Democrat from Oklahoma City, thought DHS was on the right path. We were looking at some, some, some things that I thought we may be able to uh, uh, get some clarity on, particularly it had to do with uh, uh, parents trying to get uh, the children back or why the children had been taken from them. While Senator Dana Prieto, a Republican from Tulsa, was calling for a top-down shakeup as recently as last week. DHS needs to be burned to the ground and then built it back up and start over again. The governor, though, praising Shropshire, saying under her leadership, Oklahomans benefited from simplified and modernized programs that the state has become a national leader in providing developmental disability services. And Shropshire's last day on the job is set for September 13th. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.